What is up, guys? We are back here with part two of What Not to Buy Until We Know What's in Bonanza. Part two. Okay, so there's still a lot of stuff we can talk about, but before that, I do want to see what you guys are saying in the previous video. Uh, excellent. Subscribed. Thank you, man. Awesome. Appreciated. I'm playing. I'm praying for a Genzo QCR. That's an awesome inclusion in the uh, in the nostalgia pool for sure. Cash tier Fenrir B Steels will be in 100%. Hell yeah! I'm glad you guys agreed with that pick. Nostalgia pool might include banned cards like Heavy Storm and Cold Wave. Pick these up. Uh, well, yeah, pick them up when they come out. If they are included, because that would be a very cool use case for the Nostalgia Pool. Great video, but it's so hard to believe them when they say no QCRs, we're getting reprints. When we got three blue eyes QCRs, and exactly, right? He's just kind of basically calling out Konami, which we need to do when they say stupid stuff. Like, we ain't going to do something, and then they do it. Uh, yes. The Dark Magician and some hero stuff were in Unity, and he's just referring to the OCG set that Bonanza's kind of stealing from, you know. Uh, I sent Konami a list of cards of reprints towards Bonanza. Oh, I think this guy's just trolling. Kind of funny, dude. Uh, D-Hero Malicious, Sangin, BLS, Ru Ruler, Rulers Atlanta. Uh, I don't know some of these rulers. I don't know what that is. Oh, Dragon. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, Malicious, what, it w would be dope, like I said here. Uh, BLS, there's going to be some kind of Black Luster Soldier, definitely. Probably... Um, Envoy of Chaos or Envoy of the Beginning or whatever the hell his, his, his name is, I think that might actually be in the, the nostalgia pool. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, call. That's a good good call on this guy. Malicious is probably also going to be in the nostalgia pool at the very least, but it would be nice to get some alties and collector rares as well and whatnot. Uh, they better print SP in Thrust and Lower Rarity. We'll talk about this or SP in a little bit, but I think Thrust is in going to be in here. I do think SP is going to be in here, and I'll kind of explain a little bit in a, in a little bit here why I think that is. They revealed ar alternate arts for House Dragon Maid. Did they not? Probably the others are also in the set. So yeah, I think they did also, this guy's correct, they did announce Dragon Maid uh, being in the set. Uh, or some Dragon Maid. I think it was like a Fusion Dragon Maid. 10 year reprint would be terrible. So many cards. And that that is true. And I'm not saying like a 10 year because I, I mentioned Tenyis would probably be reprinted uh, in the upcoming set. I, it's not that I want Tenyis to be printed, but Konami's not just going to be printing stuff that's valuable, right? I uh, really want to see Lovely Labyrinth. We're going to talk about that, actually. Uh, you think Bonanza will be worth picking up? It's still too early. Testicles, agreed. I'm getting. I'm going to gamble and say hat format cards. I don't know what that means. This structured deck, I think, is supposed to release... Oh, that's the... Um, for the uh, Blue Eyes a structured deck is being released in February, and it is February 7th. We're going to talk about that in this video. Yes, part two. And this is exactly... I'm doing it right now, my man. Thank you. What about Thrust? We'll talk about uh, On Fire and Wanted. We'll talk about Konami Stock. Okay, so that is what you guys were saying about part one. A lot of stuff that made me think and uh whatnot so you guys were talking about stuff that is that was basically in the dueling mirror set right so if we look at the dueling mirrors we have a lot of cards that you guys want personally to be included in bonanza and of course no no one knows right now what cards are going to be included but i'm willing to bet that on fire wanted uh actually you know wanted might actually be in here or up in the upcoming set any chorus cards and anything else that I'm kind of looking at here on the front page probably won't be reprinted. And the reason why is um, Chaos Angel might actually be printed. The, the reason why I'm saying this, guys, is Konami needs to sell sets, right? And the there's a, about a month gap between the 25th anniversary and the Bonanza set. So they're not going to be double dipping as much. They might for certain cases. And we actually know for, for a fact that Diabell Star Black Witch is going to be in both sets. And uh, it's also not going to be a QCR, right? Because they said it wouldn't be a QCR. It's going to be a an ulti, uh, a secret rare, platinum rare, all that other stuff. Just not a QCR. But they ain't going to print everything. I feel like Thrust still has... 
uh, other sets that it can move. You know what I mean? Like it, it had, uh, I guess, they, I, usually the TCG player allows you to see all the, the versions of the card here, but there's no link for it. I'm pretty sure this was printed twice. And it got a, like an OTS printing. SP has not gotten an OTS printing, but I think it, it it is a card that would sell a set. Thrust, not so much. Thrust is more like it's a it's a generic card for sure, but it's very situational. It seems like SP. Most people are running SP in like every deck if, if they can. If they have the slots in it in the extra deck, they're running it. So I do feel like SP would sell Bonanza. So that's why I'm kind of like leaning towards maybe it's in. The other reason I'm saying Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils might be in is because Diabell Star is in there. Usually they put cards that are related archetype-wise in the same set. They don't just throw a random card out of nowhere. Usually, right, there's some kind of a theme or a, a, a rule they're following to, to, to their madness. Right? It's not just pure chaos in, in each product. You know what I mean? Chaos Angel, the only reason I'm saying maybe is because it got an OTS printing as well. And it's not that like I don't know I, you know I'm kind of I'm kind of doubting myself now I don't think Chaos Angel would be in here so as far as ten of dueling mirror stuff that you guys do want I I would say temper your expectations because probably none of this shit is going to be in Bonanza besides Diabelsa or Black Black Witch uh, that's 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 all I'm saying here to be honest we can all speculate we can all hope but it's probably not going to happen now what will actually probably be included is going to be a Zeus. It's pro it's not going to be a QCR because we know that, but it can get very uh, a lot of printings and get it printed to the ground. It's not that expensive. It's something that's not really selling any sets currently, and it's actually a good card that Konami can uh, capitalize on to sell the set. Moving on here, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. It seems like they're not going to be doing a Legendary Duelist Season 4. What would that include, actually? It would be Synchro Storm and Duels from the Abyss or something like that. I kind of, I don't think a Season 4 would sell because those two sets are probably not going to drive that much uh, eyeballs as much as Season 2 or Season 3. So I don't think they're going to do a Season 4. Usually, also, they, they kind of, they're, they run out of steam. You know, they, they start doing a good thing, a good product, a good formula, and then they just abandon it altogether. I feel like they're going to abandon the 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 legendary duelist seasons as well here but uh, i do feel like crystal wing synchro dragon is going to be included it's going to be a reprint there's going to be speedroids coming out in january in the next main set and it's a good place to to reprint it because it's somewhat expensive people are looking for it it's a barone replacement in some cases so yes another one millennium eyes restrict first of all it's dm right they pander for, to the dm guys and they're the listeners are kind of going away here for magnificent mavens so it's if it doesn't see a reprint it's going to be somewhat expensive coming up here relatively soon and it, i mean they need to bring this out as well uh totally awesome and swap frog i feel are going to also be reprinted because uh to i mean totally awesome is seeing some some more buyouts it has consistent value almost all the time because it's just a good card and it's a good a good excuse to bling it out right it's a fan favorite people like it it fits a, a decent amount of decks it's generic enough at least and uh, why not bling it out swap frog has also been seeing some uh some recent in um buyouts not not that much but i've seen it kind of trending uh, trending on the uh on the on the tcg player here which is kind of weird i don't know why it's a level two so maybe some people are doing using it with sprites but if they're printing uh, uh what's this face totally awesome they're probably going to print other other frogs because again they do stuff that uh, that will go that, that will jive together usually in these sets. Uh, usually they don't just throw a random card out of nowhere unless it really really needs a reprint. So those are two other cards potentially being printed, and the other cards that will probably be reprinted are Ubel cards. Now I'm not saying Phantom of Ubel. I don't think Phantom of Ubel. I should correct myself. Is going to be in the set. It just got an OTS printing like literally yesterday, right, and whatnot, Spirit of Ubel, probably not as well, Ubel, the Loving Defender Forever, again, probably not, but what will be in, probably in the set is going to be Ubel, the Ultimate Nightmare, and the Terror Incarnate as QCRs, they were inside Unity, I believe, if not Pride, but I'm pretty sure side Unity from the OCG, 
and they I mean they're still pretty expensive here. You can play them in the in the Ubel deck if you want to pay, play more pure Ubel. And as we've seen, Ubel has been like a pretty decent deck. It's been seeing some consistent representation. Is it winning a lot of tournaments consistently? No, but it has consistent representation, which means that they can capitalize in capitalize it capitalize on it and also capitalize on the nostalgia players also they've been having a huge huge push with the gx stuff recently so i do see them capitalizing further on that moving on here you guys mentioned one of you guys pointed out labyrinth stuff i do think they would reprint labyrinth stuff because it's a deck that just keeps uh popping up right like it's like elic popular deck trap deck right just like Elic, I guess I'm trying to compare the two, but just like Elic, they uh, Elic got some blinged out stuff in Maximum Gold El Dorado, right? They actually kind of focus heavily on it. I think that they might focus heavily on this too, because again, it's pretty consistent. Also with D Dominus uh, Impulse, I think the new card that came out in Rage of the Abyss, it support it's uh, it jives really well with the card. Selling that said a little bit more by providing Labyrinth at, the, at a cheaper value, all, but while also providing it with higher rarity cards, right? And you might be saying, well, this is already co collector rare. There's cards in here that are already collector rare. Are they going to do it again? And yes, that's actually probably why they would reprint it again. It seems like a lot of the cards that were previously collector rares in, in a side set, they kind of go out of their way to print those again in these rarity collection type sets, So, which Bonanza is, right? It has the same structure. So, I do think some of these cards will probably be reprinted in Bonanza, and you guys should be avoiding them and waiting and seeing until the, the set list drops. The other thing, or the other archetype, I should say, is sprites. Sprites, they're pretty popular, but they're not that good, right? They're not selling any sets currently. I think the last set that they were in was uh, Terminal Revenge. Actually, that was re relatively recent. But uh, with Terminal Revenge, I don't think sprites are selling it. Terminal Revenge is being... So, um, the hype behind it is the blue eyes, believe it or not. A lot of people are trying to pull the blue eyes, and that is actually working pretty well for them uh, selling the set. I, I'm pretty sure you can, you guys can't even find any Terminal Revenge anymore in, in your store shelves, because I've seen some, some of you guys complain about that in the comments section. But uh, as far as what they would include, probably Sprite Blue. Imagine that as a QCR. would be pretty dope as well as like an ulti, all that stuff. It was an OTS ulti, but again, they do not care necessarily, and they will print it to the ground. Look at this guy, $8.20. That is crazy. So I do think that they will print some Sprite core in, in there and bling it out and whatnot. The other thing is there's probably, there's bound to be a lot of Blue Eyes stuff that's going to be, that's going to be reprinted here because the Blue Eyes structure deck is coming out in February 4th, I think it was, and there's no other reprint sets that they've announced from now till then besides Bonanza. And there's a lot of Blue Eyes cards that actually kind of need printing. Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon might not jive well with the new support. I actually don't even know. I know that it uses Synchros, so it might not jive well. But it's 18 freaking dollars. And they did print a lot, of, a lot of like Chaos, newer Chaos stuff from the Dark Magician in the previous Rarity Collection. So... Uh, also, some stuff from this particular set, like Galaxy Eyes, Afterglow, and Abyss Dragon in Rarity Collection 1. So I, I kind of do see them printing some stuff in here for Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, of course, maybe even Chaos Max, Ultimate Creature of Destruction, just so you guys get reprints, they print it to the ground, they also nostalgia bait people and whatnot. And it also would be a pretty good use of the nostalgia pool, because again, the Blue Eyes stuff is getting more support. Besides that, on the subject of nostalgia, right? Black, Rose, Moonlight, Dragon. It's pretty expensive. Hasn't seen any reprints. Really good choice is at least a QCR in Bonanza and Red Eyes, Rose, Dragon. A lot of this stuff in Season 2 has not seen a, many reprints, so definitely look forward to a lot of those reprints being in Bonanza. Cyber Dragons as well, guys. There's, there's definitely a lot of stuff going on here in this set that you guys should not be buying until we know for sure what is included in Bonanza. But that is the video. Oh man, hopefully we get, you know, spoilers sometime next week and we know for sure what's in Bonanza. Catch you guys in the next one.
Big thank you to the channel members, Eric Moreno and Burn My Dread. You guys rock.